All right, welcome everybody to the grandstand. There are a whole lot of sports going on right now. All right, let's start with the Braves. Now, because of schedule things and everything, we have to tape this on a Tuesday, which will be before game one. But so by the time you watch this, game one will have already been played. But Braves and Reds, best of three. Guys, do we think for the first time in nearly 20 years, the Braves win a playoff series? Mark? I think so. I mean, I like the way that Freddie Freeman is playing. He's doing an excellent job. And I love the way that our uh, – Youngtown is doing the leading off the game with Acuna. Um, I mean, the way that Snicker has, has, has gotten us into this position with the, the trouble that we've had with pitching, I feel good about it. Even though I know the curse is upon Atlanta, I still feel good. All right, Avery, what do you think? Yeah, I think we, at very minimum, get out of the wild card round. I think the way the Braves have been playing has been absolutely sensational. You got uh, Max Fried is going to come in there and kind of lead us off. I think he's going to do a great job. Granted, we will be after this game by the time this airs. But, I mean, I think the Braves are are just uh, tough for anybody to handle right now. You look at that lineup, you've got Ozzy Albies, you know, batting late in the lineup, you know, eighth and ninth. I think when that's, you know, your, your, your cleanup kind of hitters, those, those I mean, what are you going to do as, a, as an opposing defense? So I think the Braves will, uh, have a bright future one in the playoffs for sure. All right. Game one, Heat and the Lakers is set for Wednesday when this is airing. Uh, who do you like, Avery? I like the Lakers, man. I just – I like the Lakers. I think uh, ultimately when it comes down to LeBron James, he's just going to get it done. I know everybody likes to make fun of his, you know, whatever his record, his losing record is in the finals, but – when it comes down to it, you've got two dynamite superstars in LeBron and AD, and they think they have enough of a supporting cast. I like Tyler Hero. I like Jimmy Butler. I mean, I like – I mean, those guys are dogs. You know, that whole team is a grind. Eric Spolster is a great coach. But I think when it comes down to the, the greatness of LeBron James, I think he's going to get it done. All right, Marv, what are you thinking now, Heat and the Lakers? I feel really good about the way that the Lakers are entering as well. Um, I, I like what the Heat bring to the table. They remind me of that team um, the Pistons had back in the day when they had Rip, Big Ben, and Tejon Prince, um, Chauncey Billups um, back in 2004 when they beat the Lakers, actually. Uh, I, think, I think that that's what is going to take a whole team to, to take on the, the greatness of what LeBron is bringing to the table. But I think LeBron is just going to get it done in the end. All right, we've got 30 seconds, guys. Quick question here. Does Dan Quinn get fired during the season? Mark. Yeah, I don't think he makes it before the end of the year. Hey, Bree? Yeah, I, there's no way they keep him. <laughs> there's absolutely no way, especially if they keep on going the way they're going right now. There's no way. They keep setting records. Unfortunately, it's the wrong kind of records. So, Marv, Avery, great talking with you. A whole lot of stuff going on, and we'll have more next week. Enjoy your night. <laughs>